Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So Ireland, it's just like everywhere else. It's batshit crazy, run by psycho puppet tyrants. Following the digital imprisonment mantra, just like all across the world. And October the 22nd was supposed to be their Freedom Day, when all of the jab passports were not going to be used anymore for hospitality, and that the regulations were all going to be uh, let go, so they said. That's what they led you to believe at first, but of course they never had any plans or intentions to do that, because just like all the other psycho puppet tyrants, they are complete corrupt Liars, 100%. Over the last three months, you have seen medical apartheid in Ireland. You can't go into a pub without a jab passport. You can sit outside in the cold, but not inside. And this was supposed to be on October the 22nd, Freedom Day, when everything was supposed to be let go. But guess what? No, of course not. It's going to continue because that was always the plan. The plan is to get everyone trapped in the new digital infrastructure. That is the digital world of passports and social credit score systems and cashless society with everything you do is tracked and monitored and your activities will be harvested for energy to run the blockchain system that they are trying to set up. So yeah, the mainstream media in Ireland is talking this up, saying this is great, but what's what's the difference? The medical apartheid still exists. Those without a passport are supposedly now not allowed in pubs. Although, from what I've been told, most pubs, a lot of the pubs, are ignoring this and not checking people's passports, which is a good thing. Nightclubs are going to be open now, it says here. But again, as for nightclubs, specific guidelines have been developed, ensuring some vital protective measures remain in place, it says here, to avoid a surge in cases. COVID-19 passes will be mandatory for entry and contract contact sorry, tracing data will be collected. All those in attendance, it says, will have to wear face masks in a nightclub, except when eating, drinking and dancing. Um, I don't know. Uh, apart from nightclubs opening, I don't see what the difference is. It sounds the same as before. And this, now they are saying, will last until February. So th that's what they're spinning. Now, just to get things into perspective, okay, it was claimed a month ago in the mainstream in Ireland that in Waterford, 99% of the people had had the jab, 99% in Waterford. And then a few days ago, this report came out that Waterford has the highest cases in Ireland. <laughs> you know, this is a mad, mad world we are living in. Now I'm curious, these figures seem a little bit crazy. These high figures in Ireland, they are making out. Are they true? Let us know in the comments. Irish viewers, do you think this is correct or are they lying? Is there any form of resistance to this digital technocratic takeover in Ireland? Are people going to the pubs? Are the pubs uh, asking like, have you got a vaccine passport at the door? Or is this being completely ignored by most people? Or are people just signing up to it without even thinking at all about their futures? Let us know if you're in Ireland. Let us know what's going on over there in the comments. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the herd.